which is usually the best and sometimes the only way to beat a really smart, talented boxer. A particular human puzzle. Right hand by Canelo, which if you're up in row 50, style. That's why I asked the question, but you know we'll see that again. Stop, 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 stop. The left and the lead. But Canelo now knows what the assignment is. Against a fighter like Trout, you can't afford to start too slow. Works the body, good right hand by Canelo. Near their prime, certainly Trout near his prime. Both guys using the formula. See him circling to his right. Canelo will have to cut off the ring. He takes a left hand and then comes in and to Trout. Uh, a fighter who's defensive oriented and blocking the shot. Time! A buzz throughout this crowd, but not an explosion. He tries to, there is Trout jabbing on the outside, doing a beautiful job. They're going to have to try and change this guy's movement. No. There's a good jab behind the good. Trout boxing, moving, waging the fight we expected with um, the Trout is not in there to he gets it that's why we look for that sustained pressure and see how it affects the opponent to have a fight <laughs> he's in there to win the fight but if he operating they'll make canelo regroup there's a right hook that got in by austin trout and then by austin trout and these kinds of are determined by what's inside the fight not just by sense that We'll find something a little extra. As Canelo comes in, it's in grazing fashion, but he's getting closer. Good uppercut by Alvarez again, and then Trout is back. And suddenly we have toe-to-toe -to -toe here. And then just look at the patience and persistence with the jab of Trout. And it's Trout with a good rally. That's the part of the inside that we were talking about. How will we respond when he's hit? If the response is to hit back. Austin Trout, 26 and 0, 14. There's a big right hand that drops Trout. We talked about the momentum of the uppercut in round six. And a big breakthrough. For now, it looks like he has his legs back. But Canelo will try to hurt him here. Another Thanks. big right hand by Canelo. The right hand lead against the lefty. Trout fighting back. Good right hand by Alvarez. Trout right there. Not tying up, not trying to buy time. You want to be great men. It's war. And he took, comes up, and shows a little more. And there's Canelo with another big right hand. Another one. Good left hook. He's a heavy-handed puncher, and as, and as we said earlier, most likely the best puncher. It's Canelo, the more he puts himself in harm's way. There earlier, it's been taken out of him now by the body shots. Alvarez loading up his next big shot, fire sure of his jab right now. Good right hand by Alvarez, excellent right hand in the body. Trout is back. You know, when he realizes he's he's not being backing off, who's kind of and, and when neither fighter is lost. Some guys who brought unbeaten marks in here. The right hand by Alvarez. Works the body. Halt the movement of Trout and at times. Alvarez scores the right hand after the left of the body. Alvarez. Right hook in the ring in this fight. Uh, it's hard to cut off the ring and lose left or right. Um, it's not like he's running in, one in any one direction and you have to cut him off at the pass. Uh, he just has to stand there and there. Good jab here by Trout. Canelo right Made it difficult for Canelo early. 
that he's in a tougher fight than maybe he, Canelo. Stalking Canelo at this late stage. Yeah, he has to become the gambler. And Fourth. Three nice shots by Trout and a beautiful uppercut by Alvarez. And if this is chess, it's speed chess. Hand by Alvarez. At no point in this fight has Trout landed a punch. Usually plays a big role in the scorecards over the course of a fight. Remember Trout making it harder for Canelo and Canelo dropping Trout. Canelo trying to launch that right hand lead at this stage of the fight. Good pace by both guys at this stage of the fight. Outside is Trout. Trying to build up something with the jabs. Good right hand lead by Alvarez. And then Canelo to take it away with a good right hand. Sticking and trying to stick him. Little roll reversal. Here comes Trout. Good body shot by Trout. Good body shot by Alvarez. Nice right hand by Alvarez. And then he wins that. Right now, Trout might feel like he brought the knife to the gunfight. As Canelo scores the big. Larry threw 11. What is the stack up on your scorecard? I the other way, of course. Here is Trout working on the outs. Two fighters who have shown excellent methods. Trout on the outside, boxing, angles. Alvarez. Right hand lead by Alvarez. Once again, the hard punch. How much of an impression will that make? Trout continuing to come forward. Good right hand by Alvarez. Right hand by Alvarez. To be the hardest fight both of them have ever been in. Yep. Good right hand again by Alvarez. He said it before. He thought was the hardest puncher. Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we have a unanimous decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Ray Danseco, scores about 115 to 112. Oren Schellenberger sees it 116 to 111. And Stanley Christodoulou scores about 118 to 109. All three in favor of the winner. He is now the WBC, WBA, and Ring Magazine Super Welterweight World Champion, El Orgullo de Guadalajara, Saul Canelo. Yes, he did it. And if there is any head shaking, it was from the people who thought Trout did better than the judges did.